Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... Where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God, right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. The rest of you, Let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this...
for any other arrival. Get in there! Find Jack! And find that Braceweight woman! Jack! You in here? Jack! 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 Oh, shit! <laughs> lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out uh, of here. Uh, what about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, we reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here. Oh, 
I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that 
dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. Yeah. Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. All right? Be just down this path to the left here. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh, shit! It's damaged! Damn it! Still some here! I can see that! That's it. Come on, we fight. We want to ease. I'm on a skin, white trash maggot. Come on. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me.
We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Look out! Ugh. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. cities they're always repellent exactly I'll find you in there go see what you can figure out yes Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, 
How you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you no know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moines for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that, that's excuse why we me. love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseous. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Oh, bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little bit of shit. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Stop, shit.
stop right now. Hey, What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. Far from real open country.
Got a problem? Okay, <sighs> Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. Still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. I say look out for mines. You see 
That was dark. No wires like telegraphs. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hamlet. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. There, I'll go on for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of the pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Remember? The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just waves in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what big fun! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even dim with here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. <laughs> As I say, <laughs> any pool, huh? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> what is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my 